What is up guys? I have missed you and today I'm going to be filming a haul for you guys. I'm so excited to film this haul because I'm genuinely like in love with everything that I was going to show you guys and everything that I got. So this is like a combined haul from a few things that I've ordered online recently and then some stuff that I got in New York because I was in New York this weekend and I went shopping a bit. I'm digging the lighting in this video too. It's making me look really pale but we've already accepted that fact so it's just nice it's so nice lighting going on right now it's like gloomy outside so I feel like the Sun's not like glaring in I never really film during the day so you guys usually get my artificial night light anyway I am going to start off with some of the things that I got at Zara a couple weeks ago let's just go ahead and get into it I guess I got this romper which I actually wore to my meetup that I had in New York on Saturday and I love this so much it's just like short sleeve lace a lot of people thought it was a dress but I was like no girl it's a romper um, I love the lacy sleeves it's just super detailed super pretty this is like probably my favorite color to wear at the moment since I dyed my hair like kind of my beanie is similar ish my beanie is more blue but I have more things in this haul that are dark green I also got these booties which are amazing in my opinion the only thing I'm upset about is the first day I wore them they got scuff marks yeah I've worn them this isn't like a brand everything's brand new haul I've worn a lot of this stuff they're just like some suede I don't I don't know if they're actually suede they feel like suede <laughs> booties and I really like them because they go with a ton of stuff and I just think they're super cute I wore those and I wore these in my these this skirt in my last video which was my fashion video if you haven't seen that I really like how it turned out so I'll link it in the description box definitely go and check it out I'll link it right here too if you want to see my last uh, fall fashion like styling video but um, I got this skirt which is kind of like so girly for me right now like I've been wearing a lot of stuff that's not really like this recently but I still love a good floral print and I just saw this and I thought it was kind of cool it has some zippers on the sides and I just think it's a very fall nice piece I don't know if these are my favorite thing or the romper is my favorite thing probably these are actually that I got during that trip to Zara I just got four things but I am obsessed with them all are these jogger pants and they have a leather like waistband um and then they're army dark green and then they have black again like at the bottom where they go in and I for the longest time um, was not into pants like this and then me Emily and Megan all got these amazing pair of like jogger sweatpants from Topshop that are the comfiest thing in the world and they're actually like so much more flattering than regular sweatpants I don't know why they just are um, I just like the way that they fit so these ones are awesome and I haven't worn them yet but I'm very very excited too because they're super super fall and I just like pants that are not like I'm so basically over jeans I just wear and wearing like leggings and like comfier pants um, So I'm really glad that pants like this are in right now because they're super comfortable So that's all my Zara stuff now. I'm gonna show you the pair of shoes that I have been wearing Basically every single day since I got them and I don't understand how I was living without them I have a ton of shoes, but I wanted a pair of black shoes that like are easy to put on quick to put on that you can just like put on and walk out the door you know what I mean that go with everything and I didn't really have that despite how many pairs of shoes you guys know I have so I got these vans and they're slip on vans with the white bottom and then they just have this black like faux leather um material on top which I think looks a bit a bit nicer than just like the canvas and also they stay a lot cleaner because they don't get like crap on them I don't know these have I wore these all around New York I've been wearing these yeah the bottoms of them are really gross because <laughs> I've been wearing these a lot so I don't want to touch them too much but I am in love with these shoes I don't think they were that expensive at all maybe around like $50 or so and I just ordered them online and I don't know how I was living without them so highly would recommend story time so for Halloween Emily and I decided we were gonna be extreme rave girls <laughs> and we were but we were supposed to wear these outfits slash costumes um, I didn't order these just for Halloween my friend Devin showed me this Instagram called liberated heart that's the name of this company um, it's from it's an Australia based company and they basically have like psychedelic ravey trippy type clothes but they're super comfy and cute they're kind of they're really overpriced in my opinion but um, I really 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 liked them they have a really nice Instagram they have a really nice website I checked it out and I ordered this stuff 11 days before Halloween and it's I thought it was 
probably gonna get here in time. I wanted to wear one of these on Halloween, have Emily wear one of them on Halloween. I have two outfits. And then I wanted to wear one of them to Hard Day of the Dead, which I went to like last weekend. But I didn't get to. They literally came in the mail the Monday after Hard and Halloween weekend. So that was unfortunate, but I'm still really happy that I have these outfits now because I don't know I'm going on such a rant about these, but it's really hard sometimes to find like ravey, psychedelic, cool clothes in stores and online it's just kind of hard and I really really like wearing that kind of stuff to festivals and concerts and stuff so I'm glad that I have these now they're kind of crazy but as I said I was literally planning on wearing them for Halloween so the first is like this cool woo, halter and I just love how like eye appealing all their designs are it's also the material that they do it I don't know it's like stretchy and this is a skirt and it just matches the top well and I know it's kind of crazy but as I said like I'm in love with stuff like this for um, festivals, raves, concerts, any type of that kind of stuff. My other outfit, I could totally wear these to like yoga or work out if I um, <laughs> you know ever get around to doing those sorts of activities but these are the leggings and this is what I was gonna wear on Halloween with purple fluffies. I did end up wearing purple fluffies and a tutu but I wanted to wear these on my legs and then the top which matches this you don't have to get the outfits to go together i just decided to get like matchy stuff um is like a short sleeve top and this is their logo the little liberated heart logo and these also fit so good so i'm so so happy that i didn't order stuff all the way from australia wait for it to not be here in time and then it didn't fit like i'm really happy with my stuff so woo all right, now we'll move on to what I got in New York, which I didn't go to that many stores, but the ones I did, I'm super happy with everything I got. I went to Bloomingdale's and I got three things. I ended up returning one of them that I didn't try on, but that's not important. I found this big, cool t-shirt in the free people section and it was on sale. I just thought it was freaking awesome because it was a great like legging top and it has a bunch of like cool holes and stuff. I don't know. I liked it. And then this is from... Did I say Bloomingdale's? Yeah, I think I did. This is also from Bloomingdale's from the brand Aqua, which is one of my favorite brands there. I ended up just getting this um, long midi skirt with some pretty florals. It's really girly, and um, I don't know. I really, really like it. I think skirts like this, they look so good on your butt. I really appreciate it. I went to MAC and got two lipsticks, and I really rarely ever go to MAC, but I was like, you know what, Mom? I kind of want to look at some lipsticks, and I'm really glad I did because I found two colors that I'm in love with. MAC has amazing lipsticks. If you've never tried them out, just really you should. So the one I'm wearing right now on my lips is one that I got and I love it. It's called Party Line and it's a cream sheen. I don't know. It's a nice, it's a very nice fall color. It's not too much, but it definitely adds some nice color to your face. And then this one I wore to my meetup and I wore a lot this past weekend after I bought it. It's called Cream in Your Coffee. I really like that name. I think it's adorable. And my mom actually wore it too and was like, I need to get this lipstick. And I said, yes, you do. It looks amazing on you. It's like a brownie toned nudie, rosy, I'm terrible at describing things. It's a really flattering color, surprisingly. I thought it would be too a little bit too brown on me. I never really wear colors like this, but I really, really like it. So woo for new lipstick. Probably my favorite store that I ended up going to in New York was Aritzia because I forgot, um, I forgot about Aritzia because I don't think we have them here in LA. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But Aritzia is a great store. It is kind of expensive, but I really, really like it. They were playing like really, really good like party uh, rap music when I was in the store the whole time I was shopping and I was just like, hey, I feel like I'm at a club right now, but I'm shopping. I was really happy. So I got this beanie that I'm wearing and I'm wearing it right now because my roots are kind of grown out and I need to get my hair done and I also have an obsession with beanies since I cut my hair. I can't help it. I really like them. So I'm gonna be wearing them like a ton now that it's fall and winter. Just a warning. But it's just like a greeny blue dark color and it's super long if you don't like do it like this. So I did it like this. Yeah. I got another beanie which I wore like three of the days I was there and it's just like a it's like a smaller one. It's so it's more form-fitting to your head. I needed a nice black beanie because the one that I have looks terrible on me it's like a skater type one I don't even know Woo! I'm just throwing all my crap into a pile over here as I always usually do when I film hauls but you never really see it I got this shirt which is super wrinkly because it was just in my suitcase but it's basically just a long t-shirt that's green it's really soft and I thought 
it was really perfect for leggings, which, speaking of leggings, I got two new pairs at Aritzia that I've actually already worn both of. I folded them up for you guys, but I promise they're really wrinkly and, like, I just, you know, they need to be washed and, like, dried and stuff. But I got literally the same floral pair of leggings in, like, two different shades. They're amazing, and they're so comfortable. Aritzia leggings, I already have bought in some in the past, and they're amazing. I just love leggings. Can you thumbs up this video if you appreciate leggings as much as I do because they are so comfortable. I don't. I hate pants. I just hate pants. I'm not wearing pants right now. I also got, I guess I got a lot of things in twos. I got two of this same shirt because it was inexpensive and I thought it was American Apparel like which I did go to American Apparel. I'll show you that stuff next. I thought they were just cool and would be nice for high-waisted skirts, high-waisted pants. They're just cool in like a leather jacket over, you know? So I got a navy blue striped one and a maroon striped one. And I'm not really a person that's into striped, so these are kind of weird for me, but I like them. And then I think this is the last thing I got at Aritzia, unless something's like floating down here that I haven't gotten to yet. Really, really not needed, but wanted a nice like red flannel. My sister has one and it's awesome, but it's super oversized. So I have this one now and I mean, a good flannel is just, it's just like a warm hug, so... Okay, two more places, and definitely stick into the end of this video because I came home to a package and everything I got I am obsessed with and can't wait to show you guys. But first we're gonna do American Apparel because I went insane at the American Apparel in New York. I don't think I've ever been to this one. It was in Soho. It was huge. It was like three levels. I was in there for legitimately like an hour and a half. Shout out to the girl in the dressing room who helped me out because she was really nice. And I'm just going to kind of go try to go through this stuff quickly. I got another beanie and you can't really see that good on camera. But it has a ton more colors than just purple. But it's kind of, it's just like a pastel-y beanie. But it's not really showing up that good. I think it's too bright on camera. I got a black cropped kind of shirt with a pocket that's really really simple but I thought would look good. Got this bralette which I just tried on on a whim and I was like this is really really cute and I don't really know what I'm gonna wear over it but I really really liked it. I got this cropped mesh, well it's mesh on the sleeves and at the top shirt and then it just has like, it looks like it's really short but once you put it on, if you don't have big boobs like me you can wear stuff like this, you know. I got this skirt, which I can't believe fit me because it's an extra small. I'm usually, I do usually wear a small in American Apparel circle skirts just because they flow out, so you really only need, you like, you know, they're high-waisted. This was the only one, and I didn't, I really didn't think it was gonna fit me, and it's, it's like a teensy bit tight, but it, it honestly looks good, so it's so awesome. It's like a vegan leather paint splattered skirt. I, I got this. To wear, I don't even know what this is. It's like a tight dress under slip type thing, and I just, I don't know. I thought I could do a lot of things with it, like wear it and then wear like something over it and have like the bottom peeking out or things like that. Wear it under other dresses. We'll see. And then I got another cropped tee baseball style type shirt because I love wearing stuff like this. I'm obsessed. So it's gray. Two different shades of gray. So many shades of gray going on here today. Um, I have a pair of leggings that I showed you guys in my last haul. That's this pattern, and I got the dress version, and it looked so good on. I'm in love with this dress. It doesn't look like anything holding it up. It's just like, oh, that's like a blah three-quarter sleeve, like, loose dress. It looks really nice on, and I love this pattern. I also got this little schoolgirl pleated type skirt because I wanted it, and... I don't know, stuff like this is like weird to me because a year ago I probably would have like thrown up seeing this, but um, now I really, I feel like with some knee socks, the right shirt, like the right outfit, it, it, you can make something like this, in my opinion, look really adorable if you're into it. I got another flannel, it's just like blue and green and it's cropped, which I thought was cool. Yeah, it would match nicely with this beanie I'm wearing today. Maybe, ooh, maybe I'll like do this tight around my waist today. I don't know. Once I decide to put on pants. <laughs> oh my god, this got so wrinkly because I shoved it in my suitcase. Oh, I don't want to iron it. It's this really long black maxi skirt and it has two slits up the side and it's high-waisted and it looks really, really pretty on. And lastly, my favorite thing, I think, that I purchased at American Apparel, these leather, vegan leather, just so you know, high-waisted oh they're wrinkled too i'm so mad 
pants but they're so soft they fit really nicely they do I have not I cannot figure out how to get rid of the camel toe in pants like this from American Apparel but I kind of just I kind of just work with it because their pants fit me really really nicely and I like the way that they just look they're like look at these these are so badass they're amazing I love them all right and finally we have come to the last part of this haul which is a package from a company that I've never ordered for before and my friend Ollie shout out to you Ollie for telling me about this company it's called shop jean j-e-e-n just went to their website and they have a lot of like it's kind of it's kind of crazy things they have a lot of like super inappropriate like items and clothes and stuff but everything I'm gonna show you guys is not that crazy but it's really cool stuff in my opinion like it's just a really unique online store I don't know so if you like this stuff definitely check it out they didn't send me this stuff or anything I bought it all but first I got some emoji stickers and there's apparently 912 stickers in here and that makes me so happy um I have seen these but I didn't know where you could get them so when I saw them on their site I was like oh heck yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do with 912 of these but I'm gonna do something with them every single thing I got besides a pair of shoes is like an oversized t-shirt that I think they had all of these in like one size I like a good comfy t-shirt sometimes so the first one is just white and it says will commit sins for Chipotle which I mean I was kind of like and then I was like all right I actually need that so um, I think it's awesome this one it's super big I tried it on yesterday like all of these are pretty big but I plan on just washing them so that'll give a little shrink rolling up the sleeves and then just wearing them over like black leggings or something honestly on lazy days or whatever um this one is <laughs> Which makes me so happy. The brand of this one is Oh Mighty. I think I got two that are this brand. Super crazy bright colored shirt with just a ton of smileys. Like, how could you look at this and not be instantly happier? I just thought when I wore this that I was going to have a positive impact on people, hopefully. So, I mean, that's the goal with this one. can't believe they even make clothing items like this. Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> It's just like a giant t-shirt with the nail painting emoji. Like, if you're a girl and you use this emoji, like, this was a dream come true when I saw this online. I don't know, like, I don't know why this makes me so happy. And I'm pretty sure these shirts are pretty overpriced. Like, I feel like they were like 50 or $55, but I could not say no. This one's also the same brand. I got this one, which is a blurred out Adidas logo. I don't know why but I was like that's really cool looking and I really like it um, I would totally wear it if it wasn't blurred out but I guess it's just kind of like a a pun a pun on the Adidas shirts trend right now and then this shirt it's so big that it's 100% a dress on me and it's like insane like I don't even know what is on this shirt or what this shirt means but it makes me so happy there's like pancakes there's like a flattened smiley face there's just like all sorts of crazy items i feel like i'm in outer space when i look at this and it's just like stuff like this is so eye appealing to me like it just makes me happy like i want my clothing to make me happy i don't want my clothing to be like super boring it's like bleh and then the last thing i got i just thought these were funny are these slip-on shoes with hundred dollar bills all over them and i just thought they were really cool i don't know i really like them okay and after talking your ears off and hauling your ears off for however long this video was i am finished and i love making haul videos they make me so happy sorry this one wasn't a try on haul it's way too much stuff for me to try all of that on and edit that i'm sorry guys i'm so lazy i'm definitely going to be wearing it i'll wear it in some upcoming outfit of the week videos i promise i really miss doing those and they're not difficult so i'm going to start doing those and then i'll just show you guys pictures when i'm wearing it on like instagram and stuff so super happy with everything and i hope you guys enjoyed this haul give it a big thumbs up if you did and that is it thank you guys so much for watching we are approaching like super close to a million subscribers so if you're not subscribed and you're watching this I would love if you subscribed I would love if you told your best friend to subscribe or your mom to subscribe yeah you guys make me so happy and it's just like ah! okay I love you and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video bye <laughs>